Liver is often praised as one of the most nutrient-dense foods on the planet. In some nutrition circles, especially among people who follow paleo or primal diets, liver has reached superfood status. It's high in protein, packed with vitamins and minerals, and loaded with nutrients that are hard to find elsewhere. So it makes sense that a lot of people feel energized and stronger when they start eating it regularly. But here's the problem, not everyone gets those results. In fact, for some people, eating liver actually makes them feel worse. You might feel more tired, you might feel anxious or jittery. You might even experience weird symptoms like headaches, joint pain, mood swings, or brain fog. So what's going on here? Why do some people thrive on liver while others crash? In this video, I'll walk you through what happens under the hood and why you're getting those side effects. To understand what's going on, we need to look at liver's nutrient profile. As an organ meat, it has quite a lot of protein, but what makes it interesting is its unique vitamin and mineral profile. Let's take 100 grams of beef liver as an example. In terms of vitamins, it's very high in vitamin A and has a lot of B vitamins. And in terms of minerals, it has quite a bit of iron and a lot of copper. Of those nutrients, the ones that have the most potential to accumulate and cause toxicity are vitamin A and copper. Vitamin A toxicity has become sort of a growing topic online and can cause changes in skin and hair, abnormal liver test results, and if it happens in pregnant women, birth defects. But you wouldn't get this from eating liver a few times. And instead, it would have to develop very slowly and through eating a lot of liver over a long period of time. So the more likely culprit is usually copper. Copper toxicity is very common and people who have it often react badly to high copper foods right away. Once copper starts building up in your tissues, it will trigger a wide range of symptoms like anxiety, hormonal issues, especially estrogen dominance and gut problems. And here's the kicker. Copper toxicity often doesn't show up on standard blood tests. So you might go to your doctor, get a blood panel and see that your copper levels look normal or even low. But what the test isn't showing is how much copper is stored deep in your tissues, where it can still cause problems. So if your body already has more copper than it can handle and you start eating liver, you're adding fuel to the fire. Sometimes that's just a feeling of quick energy that later turns into jitteriness, but other times you can get stomach problems or just feel straight up exhausted. Now, you might ask yourself, but didn't our ancestors eat nose to tail, including a lot of copper? And yes, that is true, but we have to put it into context. Our ancestors lived in a very different environment. They had far lower exposure to environmental toxins like pesticides, plastics and industrial pollutants that can mess with your mineral balance. They also got much more zinc from their diet, which helps balance out copper, and their soil was richer in nutrients, including selenium and magnesium, both of which help support detox pathways. So I'm not saying eating liver is bad, but what I am saying is that it's one of those foods that needs to be looked at very carefully because it has such an interesting nutrient profile that can backfire for some people. Nowadays, mineral imbalances are much more common than they used to be, and what works for someone else might not work for you depending on your individual profile. I go into the specifics of copper toxicity, so what it is, how it develops, and how to test for it in other videos that I will link in the description. The point of this video is more about connecting the dots. So if you've been eating more liver and have started feeling worse, then this is probably what's going on. Definitely look at a possible copper imbalance because the side effects that I described aren't random. They're actually one of the most useful signs that something is off with your minerals. Just because something is called a superfood doesn't mean it's a superfood for everyone. Nutrition isn't one size fits all, unfortunately, and liver might help some people feel amazing, but if it makes you feel worse, then you're not broken or weird. You just need to get your nutrient levels checked correctly and then listen to your body and what it needs. Once you've done that, then you can decide whether liver is right for you or not. And if you already know that you have a copper problem and need a step-by-step -step guide to fix it, make sure to check out the description for my copper toxicity masterclass. It includes the exact protocol that I used to heal after I crashed, along with video lessons on diet, supplements, and lifestyle. It will definitely help you make sense of all this contradictory information on copper and why it's such a complicated topic. 